NBA star Jeremy Lin has taken the world by storm, to say the least. And you may not know, technology helped make it happen. Before his breakout season with the New York Knicks, the Palo Alto native rebuilt his body through very specialized training. Our senior West Coast correspondent John Ehrlichman caught up with the man whose technology helped transform Jeremy Lin. I've been looking forward to this I love one. the sports stories. <laughs> uh, Menlo Park, of course, is home to Facebook. It is also home to a company called Sparta Science. In the post-steroids era, Sparta is an example of a place where professional athletes go to get an edge, or in this case, where Jeremy Lin went to help create Lin Sanity. Elbows up, stretch out your lats. Workout days at Sparta Science are intense. Up three seconds down. Yep. Good, Jake. Fight for those abs, Jake. Up right. Owner Phil Wagner doesn't just train professional athletes. He uses science and software to keep them healthy. Growing up, Wagner was a promising young football and rugby player, but was often sidelined by injuries. It was frustrating because every time I would take a step forward, I would have to take a couple steps back. Wagner went on to get a medical degree from USC and combines that training with tracking technology you'd only find here in Silicon Valley. I ran into um, my business partner, who at the time was a retired software engineer, and he was bored, you know, and I said, hey, you know, we're training athletes, and uh, Microsoft Excel is just not going to cut it anymore. Wagner's clients range from second baseman Chase Utley to NFL quarterback Kyle Bowler, but none are as hot as Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin! Too legit to quit. Lin equals win. I couldn't sleep last night. I had Linsomnia. I'm Lin Love. Before the world fell in love with Jeremy Lin, the 23-year-old was home in Palo Alto, unsigned and recovering from a left knee injury. One of his basketball coaches suggested stopping by Sparta. He came in and said, I need to jump better off two feet because he could jump great off one. But that's where that strength, you know, the big guys in the NBA, they can post up, plant with two feet and go. Sparta's training is based on Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. If a basketball player wants to jump higher, that player needs to put more force in the ground. You know, everything in our workout begins right here. And so an athlete steps on here and performs the movement, those movements are calculated, fed into computers, and a software program calculates all their values of ground reaction force. So we're looking now at a software program that analyzes everything you got on Jeremy Lin. Correct. Wagner determined that to jump higher, Jeremy Lin would need to bulk up his upper body. He was like a very stretchy rubber band. You know, you could pull out that rubber band and fire it. But as you know, if that rubber band is really loose, so what we did is we lifted heavy weights so that rubber band became much tighter. And as a result of that tightness, that stiffness, his knee was much more protected. A YouTube video shot this summer shows Lynn's daily training regime, which involved lots of basketball, lots of eating. We the steak, hash browns, eggs, chicken salad, bread, breakfast of champions. And exhausting workouts at Sparta. After two and a half months of training, helped by a lockout-shortened NBA season, Lynn was 12 pounds heavier. Factor in fat loss, and he added about 15 pounds of muscle. But his quickness also improved by more than 30 percent. And its vertical jump, it went up three and a half inches. Wagner really gets inside a player's head in his office, which looks like a Silicon Valley war room. Whiteboards jammed with complicated formulas on how to keep athletes from breaking down. The human body has much more variability than you know, a software program or a technology company. We have to be prepared for an athlete's fight with their girlfriend the night before. You know, we have to be prepared for a knee injury the morning of. So you take all of this yeah. to get Jeremy Lin playing his A game, basically. Absolutely. Baseball player Daniel Descalso of the World Series champion St. Louis Cardinals is in the middle of his off-season training. And I think this is pretty new age stuff. Um, they can really go deep, deeper into the, the you know, physical training part of, part of professional sports. Does anybody do this kind of stuff? No. I mean, it's, it's been a very big process of trial and error. Wagner keeps in touch with Jeremy Lin by text. And aside from wishing him congratulations, he's had one main message, get some rest. One thing we always have to remind Jeremy of is to sleep more, you know, because it helps him recover, you know, from all the strenuous activity he's doing. That is quite a transformation. <laughs> Amazing. It's yeah. A bulkier guy, yeah. In, in a way, it, it sounds a lot like 
the money ball way of yes. sort of evaluating players based on numbers in a very data driven way. Very much so because they're getting data on how likely it is a player will get injured. It's why a lot of teams are now hiring them to help them with their draft picks. You spend a lot of time and energy on these young players. What's the likelihood they're going to get injured? And that's where this technology is coming into play. You've got to wonder how much that contributed to his newfound success yes. with the Knicks who are so. very lucky to have him. All right. Thanks for that, John.